Hello dreamers and welcome back to Vibe and Ness. Thank you all for joining me on another video. If you are new, welcome. I'm so grateful to have you and I really hope you all enjoyed this video that I have for you all. Don't break your phone trying to like the video or subscribe for new content. So let's get right into it today. I had a few paranormal experiences when I was growing up and i'll share those on a whole other video but i've always been so intrigued on just you know those moments and how that whole kind of world works so one of my yoga adventures as i like to call them i've decided to do a little ghost touring or ghost hunting since i'm in florida i thought what better way to get my toes wet than to go to savannah georgia Back in 2012, the USA Today claimed that they were the fifth most haunted city in the United States. So, me and my sister went and we stayed at a haunted inn. We ate at a haunted restaurant. So, we visited the Colonial Cemetery and went to different ghost tours and honestly so much more. But um, this is the video. Let's jump right on in. Savannah was absolutely beautiful. Downtown was so much fun. Um, so yeah, here you go. All right, well, we are on our way to uh, Savannah. Yeah, baby. My sister wants to kill me. She don't want to sleep in a haunted room. We're leaving my mama. Bye, mommy. Bye. She wants to come with us. I do. You do? No. <laughs> All right, let's get on out of here. Got our bags packed, and we're on our way. The food is looking amazing. What'd you get, Talia? Um, something chili glazed shrimp. Tropical. Tropical chili glazed shrimp with like red rice. It's looking good. Try it out. It's actually the way I like it. It's like crispy. It's still nice and fluffy on the inside. Now in the pirates 
Is it the Pirate's House gift shop? Yeah. The Pirate's House gift shop. And before, it actually used to be the bar that was like the original bar that was here when it was made. So, hi. Love's a woman. It's pretty cool. I just had one of the waiters show me like a whole bunch of pictures. And that was like so awesome to see. Yes, you go walk. <laughs> <laughs> Talia, I can't walk with a um, an umbrella. I can't even talk right now. I can't walk with you an umbrella. Oh <laughs> over here freaking out because I'm literally asking them like, "Oh, does anything weird happen?" And they're like, "Yeah, um, uh, you know, I can kind of get scary some nights, but this is our room." <laughs> She's over here smacking me. <laughs> she really don't want me. So this is our room. It looks so creepy. I love it. It's the courtyard. Mm. Nah, I don't think. <laughs> so we got some stuff going on here. Oh, look, I think. Can we touch this? You got I I'm just like so scared. I'm gonna be sleeping, right? And I'm gonna wake up and there's just gonna be something just in the cracks waiting for me to wake up. So we are now walking to the colonial cemetery to go do some more ghost hunting. Oh, this is cute. Colonial Cemetery, a very famous yellow fever cemetery. It was literally a stop at every single one of our tours and is known for the ringing of bells at night. This is believed to be the hauntings of the people buried alive in their coffins tied to a bell to notify someone that they were still there. It was said that although a lot of bells were rung from under, they were too late by the time they were dug back up. You can tell that some of these stones are ages old with blank canvases oh. and some that are new and renovated due to what our tour guides explained as soldiers seeking shelter in a war after the yellow fever. The Gallery Cafe was an amazing spot. We were able to cozy up at, refresh ourselves. Their cappuccino was great. But the thing I love most is that they had art from different artists you were able to admire and even buy if you wanted to. So definitely come and check out the spot if you can. Hey, uh, what, what no, are you doing? No, I want to compare this. Hey, guys, so um, which one do you think's a shot? The non-existent slurp. <laughs> Or the shot. <laughs> so, this one has two Mississippis. No, it don't. <laughs> no, it don't. <laughs> this has None. two gulps. Go gulps. <laughs> okay, that that goop, 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 that no. you hear in the cup. This that's just stupid. two goop, goop, so and that's dumb. it. That's all I needed. She's so We're waiting for our ghost tour to start now. So, we're just walking around, checking out... You know, some windows, doing a little window shopping. Pence Pub, <laughs> she's over here sounding like I don't know what 
Talia. She's over here just hoping we're not the only two people on this tour. <laughs> I need more alcohol. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is why you don't take a skeptical. Well, she's not even a skeptical because she damn well believes in ghosts. <laughs> Uh, the brain does things like that all the time. Uh, I don't know if I would find any comfort in that, and to be honest with you, I really don't know what for that. That's just me. But that's, that's what true. she goes with. Uh, but now she's a little bit on edge, a little apprehensive. Uh, she goes back downstairs, sits back down at the desk of the office, starts crunching the numbers again, and she's getting back into her work, and she becomes genuinely frightened when now the footsteps start back up. And they start back up overhead, but they don't stay there. Footsteps start over her head, but then she notices that they're coming down the stairs. <laughs> Footsteps are coming right up to the door of the room that she's sitting in. And now she's freaked out. You know, adrenaline is starting to hairs are starting to spin. <laughs> she claimed the temperature in the room began to drop, and as it did, the phone, situated on the left of the desk, began to levitate. It float right before. Mm -mm. Now, those may not sound all that terrifying, but I guarantee you, you see something he's a, he's he's so so <laughs> There you go. Okay. And I'd be home alone. I'd be downstairs watching TV. And, you know, I'd hear footsteps upstairs. Yeah. And at first I'd want to say, oh, it's my dog. Well, <laughs> but then I started thinking, my dog's a terrier. I'm not going <laughs> to confuse a terrier with human <laughs> footsteps. And then I noticed my dog sleeping at my feet. So oh, it's yeah. Not my Definitely dog not your dog. <laughs> yeah, another weird thing, and this would happen a lot at my parents' house. So let's say, for whatever reason, my dog doesn't like you. Uh, yeah. What she does to people she doesn't like, uh, if they come in the room, she'll start barking at them. She'll run little semicircles around and barking until they leave mm. uh, or until I put her up. Uh, that's just the way that goes. Right. Well, my dog does that in thin air oh, in my parents' no. house. Yeah. And not just the dog I've got now. The dog I had when I was a kid, which was the same breed yeah. of dog, but did the exact same thing. And I know that animals are actually more sensitive to these things. They definitely than we are. are. Yeah. So uh, there could be something to that. Uh, Oh, uh, wait. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> are you, are you, yeah, that's it. Uh, Savannah flu shot. Just give me rum and coke. What kind of rum? Do you have Captain Morgan? Okay, that had hot sauce or something in it. It did. Well, they, they, he said it was a horse radish. Horse radish vodka. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. yeah. I don't do spicy. Why <laughs> do you? It has a bit of a kick. Do you want some of my Baileys? It's because I didn't want the Corona. <laughs> I don't know why, but the top of that cupboard is actually flat. So what he did is he comes up taking his skateboard up to the third floor of the parking deck. And if you look at the parking deck, you notice every floor has an eye beam kind of at waist level. And below that, there's a chain link fence. You know, to make sure your puppy or your toddler doesn't wander off the side. <laughs> but above it, there's nothing. Because they don't expect adults to wander off the side. <laughs> Uh, now, on the two panels right above this, this pipe, it's got a tight fence there. That wasn't there at the time. That was put up until about two years after this event to make sure there weren't copy guns. So he takes the skateboard up to the third floor, hops over the, the rail, walks across. He tags this building just to the right of the window. As he's crossing back over, something goes wrong. And it's probably that it was slick. Uh, from the fog. I mean, the fog is basically a low-lying cloud. Think about it. So I'm sure there's moisture buildup on that. But something happens as he's crossing that and he falls. And it's an awkward item to fall from because you could survive a fall like that or you could not. I have. Fall I have survived a fall like that. Well, he landed poorly apparently because he died. And uh, it didn't take a week. It didn't even take a full week before we started having sightings and ghosts here. And the first sightings are going to be from tourists. And when they would claim to see, these are tourists who would be out drinking on Bay Street, River Street. After last calls, a three o'clock hour, walking back to their head, their hotel, if they passed by this lane, they would either see somebody walking across the pipe, or they'd see somebody spray painting graffiti on the side of the building. What? The police. Well, what? By the time the police got up here, there's nothing here. There's no art, there's no person. Uh, That's I crazy. Know a guy who is a detective with SPD now. That was his rookie year in 2005. He was assigned to the downtown beat. 
in 2005 alone, he gets called up here on seven different occasions. Every time he gets here, there's no one here. Now, one time he gets called up here, he did say he found art on the side of the building. Now, at the time, he thought it was a copy kind of artist because, like I said, that extra fencing hadn't been put up there yet. So he calls in on the city cleaning crews, but it was a holiday weekend. The city doesn't get anyone to clean it up until the next Tuesday. By the time they get up here, there's nothing on the building. The art itself is gone. We got pizza. From Kay's Pizza. Go Kay's sure. Pizza on Congress Street. It was smelling fantastic. We were looking for food, but we couldn't find it. So we stuck with Kay. So we got Kay's Pizza. We're heading back to the hotel right now. So we're in the car with the heater on because I had to grab my charger. So we're just decided to eat in the car before it gets cold. But this is Kay's Pizza. How does it taste? Um, I'm too drunk to tell. <laughs> I know it's not COVID, but I'm too drunk to tell. <laughs> This is so creepy in here. it's a chair I was looking for. So I put it back and then I realized something had happened three weeks earlier. It was the same thing by myself. I was sitting up for breakfast. I went around and put on the five tablecloths. I went around and adjusted all the chairs. Mm -hmm. I went in and got the saucers for the coffee cups. And I started here from the two saucers on each table. Mm -hmm. And when I turned, I looked and there was no tablecloth on the table there. Oh. And I was sure I remember adjusting yeah. the chairs. But this was six years ago, and I thought, well, Chuck, you're 65 years old. Your mind's playing tricks on you. Yeah. So I put the saucers in the middle of the table. I went down and got another tablecloth. And when I got to the door, guess what? It was on there with the saucers right where they go. And I really started worrying because my mom got dementia. And I thought, Chuck, you've just got to really be careful. Mm. And I never tied the stories together until about a year ago. Is when that happened, I just totally didn't believe it. Right. But when this happened three weeks later, it was almost like in your face. Right. Like, yeah. You talk yourself out of this one. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you can't. You kind of can't. <laughs> yeah. So you were skeptical before, you would say. No, I've always had experiences, um, intuition since okay. I was a kid. Right. Things that I thought was going to happen and they happened. Right. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Uh, yeah. Yeah, interesting for sure. When Has I was it... 10, mm -hmm. uh, my brother was 12. We lived in a school called Twinsburg, Ohio. My mom worked at the Cleveland Press. So she would take us, my bro brother and sister and I, to my Aunt Millie's in Cleveland. Yeah. And drop us off Monday. She came every day after work. And then she would take us home on Friday. Okay. Yeah, but my brother, who was 12, didn't have to go because he had a paper route. Okay. And mm. this was like right beginning of September. 
and my Aunt Millie came in, we were all there, and she just went to a coat rack, grabbed her coat and ran out. Mm -hmm. no, no explanation, anything. And I went in the bedroom and I was just bawling. And everybody's going, what's wrong, what's wrong? And I said, Buddy's dead. Oh. They got so mad at me. Because they oh. said, that's not nice to say. Well, he was right. hit by a drunk driver. Wow. And killed. And I knew it. You know, I, I knew it. I yeah. just knew it. So I thought that was really something. Yeah, that, that was, that's interesting. Wow, for sure. As far as um, your, you know, your visitors here, did, have they, like, caught any evidence or showed you anything before? Um, one of them was in one of the rooms on the other side, and they had taken a picture in the room, a picture, a picture they liked, and they took a picture of it. Mm -hmm. And they were showing me the picture because it wasn't even opaque. In this bottom corner was an old woman. It was wow. like gray mm -hmm. hair and all. Right. And it was right there. Right over here, this building. Just walk down the hall. And when you look at the top of the landing, that's Mrs. Holy. Oh, wow, that's interesting. Oh, yes. Hey! The first few days I worked here, I thought it was Andrew Jackson. Oh, no! <laughs> and one of, the guests, one of the guests said he would be offended because he was good looking. Oh, and no! And I guess one more question. So they say that the body was like put in it the wall. It was between the houses. When they used to build them, they built a fire break. I see. And you can see where this house ends. Yeah. And where the other one begins. Okay, I get what you're saying. So like that little cut, so, basically. Yeah. That's interesting. Hmm. Alright guys, we are on our way to the Thoreau Wheat House now. It is freezing, but we'll see. At least, hopefully, it might be warm when we get inside. So they don't allow video recording inside the house, so I'm just gonna have to take some pictures and hopefully get some get something on some pictures so we're at the Sarovita house about to go inside are you scared so this is the first room that we're able to walk in and then we go into the second room where I found something really strange happen this picture while the lady was talking actually turned its head the tour guide did tell me that this actually happens often. We were then able to go downstairs and take some more pictures. So I just kept taking pictures of moments when I thought I felt something or heard something. 
around me and it wasn't until I got to this one picture where there was French doors and they had square glasses and you can see the image of this one lady that they actually have proof of so you can be the judge on that one. I really enjoyed the afterlife ghost tour, especially here in the Moon River Brewery Company, because they had some pretty compelling evidence, such as EVPs and photos. And even though I wasn't able to share those with you, I really thought they were genuine. They showed a lady in dark hair here in the basement, and they also were able to take us up to the second floor. And on the second floor, they were able to show even better evidence of a little boy that they seem to actually have a relationship with. We weren't able to go to the third floor because there has been incidents where the people renovating the third floor go through physical, unexplainable things that cause injury to themselves. So no one is allowed on the third floor and no one has tried to by the third floor. The Marshall House Hotel. It is very well known for being haunted, and if you definitely want to do some ghost hunting, try and check out room 214. Just keep in mind, you're going to have to sign a waiver because of all the physical evidence from the guests themselves. All right, guys, so we are completely done with our stay in the Foley house, and it's been nice. It's a cozy place, but I feel completely safe in this room. I just don't like the breakfast room upstairs. I was too scared to do my EVP recordings up there last night because I heard something behind me move. And so I just like booked it down the stairs into my room. But it's been a nice day. But for now, I'm ready to go back home. How about you, Talia? Yes. She asked me if anything's been happening in the room. And I was like, not really, but this morning, I can get the hot water to start. And she's like, that is completely odd because you're the first room for the the heater to go to. Interesting. And I'm like, what do I mean? So my sister literally sat there in the bathroom for hours trying to get the cold water to start. The hot water. The hot water. <laughs> and the hot water would not like take a hint. And then suddenly it just turned back on. This is the end of my Savannah vlog. I hope you all enjoyed. I know me and my sister had a blast while we were out here. Definitely check out the spots and don't forget to subscribe for new content every week. So that was the end of the video. I really hope you all enjoyed. I know me and my sister had like so much fun in Savannah, Georgia. Everybody was so nice in Savannah. It was definitely another experience. I'm new at this still. So it's like hard to get comfortable to like talk to people out there in the world when you wanna ask questions and get answers for all of you guys. And yeah, so in Savannah, Georgia, people just made it so easy for me. I tried my best and I really hope you guys either learned something from it or just was entertained by it and definitely go check out Savannah, Georgia. I know in the Sorrel Weed House, I definitely want to go back because they do this thing where they lock you in like overnight and um they give you certain things to kind of investigate with so i definitely want to do that that would be like so amazing and so cool to do so if you guys have any questions or anything that you want to add or even um some criticism on my channel and on this video by all means leave it down in the comments below it's only gonna help me grow and that's all I wanna do. I really love doing this. So I can't wait to see you guys next time. Bye.